Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to Victoria 2. We are the British Empire in Napoleon Legacy mod. We are wonderfully glorious and all inspiring. It is 1873 and we're still thinking about trying to rectify our, our economy and just kind of everything. Railroads are getting built everywhere by our capitalists, which is fantastic. Cuba's gone bankrupt. Well, I, I, can't, I can't do anything about that, can I? Hmm, no, it did give me the CB to repay debts, but unfortunately, they're in the sphere of the USA and I really don't want to go with the USA over Cuba. <laughs> We're building some armies up. Um, we are now starting to encourage soldiers everywhere possible. I'm also encouraging officers a little bit to try and get a little bit more base leadership to get better leaders. Always a good idea to keep that up. It always a good idea to keep that up. Our income is not as best as it could be. Our war justification is literally just about to finish with the Sikh Empire. So let's check the budget right up. No one supports them. They are allied with the Persian Empire, but we have no considerations for that, so that's fine. So we got one army here. Let's just start getting troops over there. Here we go. Establish Protectorate. We're going to really need to wait for our, uh, our stuff to come in a little bit here. I can't see this being too much of an issue, to be honest. I think we're going to be fine. Just going to wait for these guys to head on over there. I think I might need to raise taxes just a little bit. Just a, the tiniest amount of raising taxes gives me so much money because I have so many people. Uh, Catalonia, sphere of influence, excellent. I love that Catalonia is free. I love that. More people in my sphere is good, so. Netherlands are a secondary power, but they're just about to become a great power. Let's declare war on these guys, establish protectorates. Uh, we will call in allies. No, we will not, because a bunch of people will not accept. 68 war score. Let's go this way, please. Nice. Annals of Cree culture, don't care. Uh, let's get one more Hussar over here, because actually it would be a really good idea to make sure that we can, you know, siege things down. Oh, the instant attrition loss. 5,000 people died from attrition instantly. What is that? That's horrible. Why? Unfortunately, they are doing quite well at uh, just gathering their forces everywhere. That's okay. I'm getting analytic philosophy as well. Oh, did the Persian not? <laughs> Persian didn't join. Oh, that's so sad. How could you abandon them, Persia? That's horrible. Single grant extraterritoriality. I don't know what, do know what that is. I don't even know what that country is. Now we'll just slowly but surely smother them to death. We are going to have to wait for our infamy to go down because I'm not quite ready to fight the entire world just yet. Not just yet. Not just yet. And our piles, yeah, look at that. Tons of investors now are just funding railroads throughout my empire. The flu pandemic. Oh, God. The Spanish flu from... It's from 1918. Why is it here now? Oh, no. To increase trade, clinical context, commerce, and other myriads of global connections. Made it worse. Spanish flu was able to spread quickly across the world in a mere few years, further aggravated by ongoing First World War and the cramped living conditions in China. Spanish flu is one of the first most terrifying examples of a truly global pandemic. And come to think of it, haven't you been feeling a bit feverish? Fight the disease at every available means. Uh, pandemic influenza. That's not good. The fit for a chance that I deal with it, but I get pop growth reduction, or not really why. Yeah, let's fight with every means available. Doesn't really make a difference. Cool. And we are the Liberal Party, but that's fine. You know, it doesn't really matter. People are fine with this. Come on, get sieged. So defensive. All right, Naples. A D. 186. Oh, yes. That's allies left and right there. I love me some special allies. Actually, there's no point putting an artillery there. It doesn't increase my siege power. Come on. Just die already. God, look at all the railroads, though. Jesus. Actually, come to think of it, is there more dockyards we could be building? Of course there is. There's always more dockyards we could be building. 
Why wouldn't there be in this damn game? Do, 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 do. Gotta go around and just grab all those dockyards. What's the population of Melbourne like now? It's still only like 10,000. It's pretty crap. But gives us higher fleet cap, gives us just gives us a lot of bonuses. There's no reason not to grab it for ourselves. You know? It's there, we might as well get it. Yes, it costs money, but it's money well spent, I believe. I cannot believe that the AI was not upgrading the naval bases. I guess because they just didn't have an economy to set up. AI is just not very good at building factories. This is the problem. The The game is very easy to exploit if you understand how factories work. If you just understand the very basics of factory building, it's you're, you're fine. There's nothing that anyone can do to you. And that's what's kind of depressing. And you can just basically control the entire economy without really thinking about it. Ah, uh, Renito, Renito. Okay, America's gonna have to die. That much is clear. They're clearly gonna have to be destroyed. That's a real shame, because... Annex and Seeks. Boom! Hello! <laughs> Population climbed up, and there's dies. Look how many people we just gained. Okay, second stage of the CNR. The second stage of the Canadian National Railway linking uh, Calgary to the Atlantic coast has been completed. Now, work was again the last stage, which will be the longest, most difficult, as it requires clearing a pass to the Rocky Mountains themselves. We lose two hundred thousand in twelve life rating and a level of railroad. Nice. All right, cool. We've got a nice, we've got a decent army there, and oh man, our soldier pops are really going up. Look at that. We can have up to two hundred and ten now. That's insane. We are uh, something else. We're going to make London our uh, our main assembly point here. We're going to try and build up some armies. Alliance off with the Palantate. What? They exist? How about no? Ah. Did I lose all my allies? Yeah, because I didn't call them in. I lost all my allies. That's Bullcrap. That's Grand Columbia. That's so stupid that, that happens. I hate that. Really dumb. Really honestly very dumb. Okay, so... Six. So, so far we have a lot more infantry than we do any... A lot more artillery rather than we do anything else. And I, am I right in thinking, yes, the majority of these forces are coming from India. Oh my god, look at that. That's crazy. Although there's quite a lot in Sheffield as well. Let's try and get... Actually, you know what? Let's get guards. What am I doing? No, 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 no. No, this. No, no, no. We need guards. Guards uh, win the day. Literally, they are the best soldiers. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the population. Why not? Let's just fill our, gu our army up with guards. That's how you win. Having better soldiers than them, like, by a huge amount. <sighs> okay. Let's get some in North America, too. Alright, cool. So yes, that's a lot of armies. Yes, we are building quite a lot, but... I don't care. <laughs> Not a lot we can really get in like North America though, but the rest of it, the artillery, does seem like it's going to have to come from Asia. So I think we're going to have to bring some Indian forces over. Which is unfortunate because it's going to require a lot of transport. But it's going to take a really long time to recruit them, so that's fine. Alright, there we go. We're recruiting 59 more divisions. Or brigades, even. That's going to take a very long time, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, so we could get impressions in for, for prestige, but I think I'd rather get revolution and counter religion for the extra max focus points. Considering we have... Um, yeah, we have 20 points. So there's lots of bonuses we can get for revolution and counter revolution. 
Lots of actually pretty unpleasant bonuses, but the Diplo points bonus is really what I'm after here. And I'm going to put tariffs to 3% just to try and increase my income a little bit. And I'm going to just ever so slightly touch up my taxes. Not much, just a little bit. Because it'd be really good to make sure we actually do get a huge amount of cash. And also while we're doing this, let's take a look. What kind of raw materials are we doing? So we could do with more more uh, of that. We got plenty. We make 82% of dye. Wool, Jesus, so good. Silk, we're surprisingly just shy. Coal, we are shy, unfortunately. But it's quite cheap. Sulfur, no chance going to. We definitely need more sulfur. Iron, wow, we need more iron. Lumber, holy crap, we need a lot of lumber. Tropical wood as well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's using rubber, no one's using oil. How about industrial good steel? So yeah, we are still very shy on steel, the amount we're using. Wave of colonial unrest. Kill him. Yes, Algeria, you can be my friend. Machine parts. Oh, established naval school. Cool, very good for machine parts. That's kind of propping up our economy. Persian Empire Alliance, yes. Uh, glass. We make basically all the glass. Lumber. A little bit shy, unfortunately. Clever. This is where we make a lot of our money, though. The steamer convoys. Look at that. That's so many. Clipper convoys and steamer. We make almost the entire world supply of clipper convoys. That's insane. All right. We can uh, get these guys over. And the Netherlands. <sighs> They're a great power. That's my that's my boy. Oh crap! I lost the Rheinbund. I lost the Rheinbund. What? No, 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 no. Absolutely not that I lost my other Rheinbund Islands. Absolutely not. That's my main, main, my main squeeze. Oh no, Poland! Why have you not called me in? Why haven't you called me in, buddy? They're, they're trying to require Poland, and they're going to be destroyed. <laughs> require Poland, Lithuanian, West Prussian. Oh, there goes Poland. God damn it. Machine guns! Extra defense. We got machine guns. Now all combat has become defensive based, unfortunately. So, yeah, that'll suck. That'll really suck. Long work hours. Fine. Making piles of cash. Unfortunately... Why, why is it taking so long to, to build these? Canned goods. We are short on canned goods, are we? We are not. Jackass. The cost of health. While well, there's been ample talk in the chamber about the cost of sickness, health, and disease, I have heard only very little said on the cost of healthcare, and even less mention of the cost associated with specifically public healthcare. How many private practices are being forced to close each year due to public competition? How many apothecaries? How many private in initiatives every year smothered with the layer of inefficient government bureaucracy? A counter reform speech in, in Parliament today has gained public interest, and surprisingly, people are coming in opposition to present healthcare. Excuse me? Go down healthcare? No, my people love healthcare. Ignore the matter completely. Hell yeah. Right, let's start increasing the things we need. Man, ammunition though. Are we doing for cement? Could be better. Gonna keep going down, checking all the factories we've got. Yes, more of that, please. Are we doing for liquor? Oh, we're doing fine. And more employment in this area is fine too. Liberal author. I don't want to be too liberal. Let's not go crazy. Okay, more steel, please. Artillery. We actually make a lot of artillery, but I would still like to make more. Benin grants extraterritoriality. That means we could probably grab Benin for ourselves. We're just going to go through and make sure every one of these is hunky-dory. We still don't make enough fabric, though. Jeez. How about furniture? We're pretty much fine in furniture. My God, look how many people are employed in this factory. Jesus. Southeast England. How much does it make? Only 15. So I make the majority of the small arms in this one tiny factory. That's crazy. 
Jesus. You just need more canned goods, really. But small arms and steel are all good. I think a lot of cash, obviously, upgrading these, but it's worth it. I would very much like to fight America, and I'm not sure what I'd like to fight them for. It's going to take me a little while to get myself together, but once I stack up those extra brigades, it's going to be beautiful. Mark Norway, fine. Just taking a really long time to even attempt. What, what is it? This buy can just buy a bunch of canned food. Come on. Oh God, it's not an automate. I had it turned off. Whoops. I forgot to turn that on. Come on. There we go. Thank you. I forgot to turn on automate for that. It's gonna take a while. Naples. We're basically just slowly building people up. Making myself... Oh god, don't just dissolve that. No, thank you. Slowly building ourselves up. So we can eventually start to do some serious damage to people. No, I don't want to be alliance with Montenegro. Get out of here. And I think how the French war is going to have to happen is we're going to have to basically defend um, our allies. Our allies land as best as possible. And that's it. We're just going to have to stand there and defend their territory. South Africa. Alliance. Um, You are actually a secondary power, weirdly enough. Oh, Ali. Nice. So yeah, um, we're gonna have to basically just defend them. God, look at those upgrades. Because we have the machine guns, and so we have to basically use the machine guns properly. Except the loss. They won't ally me because they're a great power. Technically, they're going down. If I can get them as a great power, I can stack troops all on their borders, just stand there, and obliterate everybody. anti League denounce them. And then let the French forces attack us and win, and then invade and destroy them. Oh, uh, now they're going to die to Jacobin rebels. Well, there goes the Polish-Lithuanian absolute monarchy. Concerned party rock by scandal. Oh, God. We're doing real good, though. Labor spies. We really are doing quite well. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It might be worth it to actually just try to remove these guys from the sphere. A bunch of points on there. I have to wait for my infantry to go right down. It's going to take a few years, and we are still building up, you know, tons and tons of soldiers. And an analytic philosophy. Nice, a little bit of prestige. I would aim for officership. Still taking a long time. There we go. We got 5% there, so we can take them off. And we can take this one off as well, because once it's above 5%, there's really no point doing it. Okay, in Munster, 1.8. Yes, please. Northeast, 5. Southwest, 5. Connaught, 1.8. They all died. Cool. Looking good. We're about to get our next one. Leinster, 0.8. Oh, yeah, there we go. Form the R RCMP. With the acquisition of Rupert's land and Northwest Territories coming to Christian obvious that a new force required to patrol these lands and keep order. Uh, 11 life rating. Sure. Again, any other decisions that we can get? The International African Association. Have the Global Flag, Berlin Conference, and... British Empire be a secondary power? No. Or... Secondary power, or is a great power, and is Belgium. What? Oh, that's the Congo Conference. Okay, but I'm, why? Why do I have that ability? Oh, because it assumes I would still be a secondary power. Hell no, I'm awesome. Get the hell out of here, with that crap. Well, that conference isn't going to happen for quite a while. And let's get steel rails, because more are more railways. So yes, they are. These are actually almost finished. So let's get steel railroads. These guys can start cranking out even more. Oh, yeah. Although fuel and dye works would be good, too. And then we can start getting some uh, 
iron works and stuff like that. And then we'll finally begin preparing our army. And there's revolution and counter-revolution. They started to employ unusual tactics. They infiltrated soldiers, funded rebels, and movements to raise tensions. They were doing this most organizedly. This kind of tactic started spontaneously by some groups and began to be copied by others. The groups asked for funds and terror cells. A new era of revolution dawns. That was weird. I've never seen that event before. That was, that was really weird. Finish the CNR. After a massive effort to expand it to create the pass of the Rocky Mountains, the Canadian National Railway has been completed. A single railway now links the Pacific Coast to the Atlantic. Crowds have gathered in London to celebrate the first locomotive being sent to make the complete journey. Lose 300,000. Cool, man. Very cool. Doesn't really do much, just gives me some railways, which I already had, but you know, it's it's a cool event. Dominican Republic goes bankrupt. Make them guess America? Oh yeah, how do, how do I know? How did I know? I'm going for tobacco. Do I need to get some of that, that's, that, some of that in my sphere? No, we're actually fine. So yeah, we're very powerful right now. This is a re we're in a really really good spot. Uh, we make a lot of a lot of money, just just a ton of money. Uh, I would like to fight America, and I would like to fight France. I would like to do that, in, not necessarily in that order, but I'd like to do that. I think France might be first, and just try and break them apart, uh, release puppets, acquire states. You know, just really mess them up. Because there are some good states that we can acquire. I mean, Lille's not bad. Uh, yeah, some of these are really good. So do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Do let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Algernon continue to be. This has been some Victoria 2. Play Napoleon's Legacy as the British Empire. Bye-bye.